oil as is done here today bring you a video on the derivative of cos x why is that equal to negative sine of x right before we begin please drop a like and subscribe and let's get right into it right so to prove this derivative what we're going to have to use is the limit definition you lot are very familiar with this and we're going to basically replace that f of x function with cos basically right so we're going to rewrite it in terms of cos and this is the new limit definition in terms of cos from this point on same way we did sine of x we're going to basically expand this section of the fraction very important you'll see why in a bit why we have to do that so once we expand it's going to resemble something that looks like this notice we got cos x over here and we got cos x over here therefore what i'm going to do is i'm going to simplify it by factoring out a cos of x so that's what i'm going to do right away i'm going to factor out the cos of x and it's going to resemble something that looks like this at this point on what you lot are going to have to do is split the fraction into two basically so this is going to be one part and this here is going to be the second part of the fraction right so once we se separate them at this point on we're going to apply the limit on both of these fractions and we can write it like this and notice that since you know we can move the cos x this cos x over here outside the limit because there's no h value basically and likewise we could do the same with the sine of x because it's got no h value so we can move it outside the limit and just take the limit of what you see on your screen and what you see on your screen over here as well very very important right notice that this this limit when you solve for it it's going to be equal to zero and this limit over here is going to be equal to one you might be wondering why that is well that's because of the squeeze theorem so in the case of the squeeze theorem and geometry we can essentially prove that this limit will go to zero and this limit over here is going to go to one and if we apply that that logic we can easily state that cos of x is going to be multiplied by zero and that's going to be subtracted with sine of x times one and we're going to be ultimately left up with is negative sine of x and that's your answer to this problem that's how you prove the derivative of cos x is equal to negative sine of x i hope you all enjoyed this video if this video has helped you a lot please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you a lot later